Welcome to leg day. Um, I've got my workout buddy right here. And we are gonna do some weighted legs. If you don't have any weights, everything can be done body weight. Um, I'll give you some options for body weight if I remember. And it's three exercises, three rounds through for 30 seconds, aside from the warm up that's a little bit shorter. So um, whenever you hear this chime, you'll start to stop an exercise. We're gonna start body weight with that warm up. We're gonna hit toy soldier and some hamstrings and some hip openers. So you're just gonna hit that opposite foot, twist, twist. Nice and easy, nothing crazy. Remember, it's the warm up. Let's see a boob on attacks me since I'm moving quickly. <laughs> ooh, ooh. In between the exercises, we'll just sort of like jog it out, keep it moving. You never wanna just completely stop moving. Three, two, since we're warming up this nice little step. So we got 10 seconds between each exercise. We're gonna come into a hamstring pull. Three, two, and begin if you haven't started already. I'm just adding some arms. You don't really have to, you're gonna stay right here, depending on if you're warmed up already or not. Pull those heels back to the booty and suck the core. You'll hear me say the word core like 3,000 times in my videos, so I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry because if you suck your core in through just about every exercise you're doing, one, you're working the core, two, you're stabilizing everything, and that's what you want with the correct form. Three, two, just sort of step it out here, nice and easy. We've got a hip opener, so you're just gonna lift the hip up, take it out and down, up, out, down, take it a little bit faster, getting that nice, quick movement, warming it up. We're gonna go through all three of these one more time. So again, warm up a little bit shorter. And this is all strength. There's no cardio, no impact, a lot of coordination, a lot of single leg stuff once we get past kind of the initial exercises. Three, two, one. Step it out, or maybe even jog it out if you want to get a little more into that warm up. Three, two, got that toy soldier, tap, hand to opposite foot. Maybe taking that elbow back, twisting through that spine a little bit more, getting a little stretch through that hammy. And make sure you're breathing. You'll hear me awkwardly breathing very <laughs> vocally. That is one, to entertain Boo Butt, two, to entertain myself, three, to remind you to breathe. Three, two, jog it up. We got those hamstring pulls in just a second. Three, two, one, pull that hamstring back to the butt. And by hamstring, I mean heel, whatever the back of your foot is. Maybe get a little bit of a squat in between, taking this warm up just a little bit higher level, getting that heart rate up just a little bit more. 10 more seconds. This is my workout too, so I wanna like make sure that my watch tracks it, because right now I have no idea what my heart rate is. Three, two, jog it out. Got those hip openers, taking it up and then wide. Three, two, one, up and up up and out, getting that nice range of motion, opening those hips up, I'm gonna restart my watch, that might work, we'll see, this is really awkward, okay, 15 seconds, keep it moving, I'm gonna tighten it one more too, don't mind me while I just, while I just narrate my life, three, two, Grab your weights if you have weights. We're starting off with just a basic squat. So you can set the weights on the shoulder, have them down here, whatever works for you. I like shoulder, three, two, squat down and up. So you got the weight back in the heels, keeping that chest lifted, sending the butt back like you're sitting into a chair. Nothing crazy to get started. Keeping that chest lifted. Again, you don't want to like fold forward here. 10 seconds, 
And remember, please play music. Don't just silently work out with me. I work out in silence so you can play whatever you want. Three, two, lunges. We're gonna hit a reverse lunge. So you're gonna step it back, take it all the way down, alternating sides. This is sort of like another warm up step. And begin, chest is straight up and down, stepping back far enough. That front knee stays right over the ankle, keeping your chest lifted, pulling the shoulder blades back here as well. Make sure you don't like hunch forward at all. Keeping that chest lifted, alternating. Good. I say good like I can see you, but I want you to feel good about yourself. <laughs> I'm saying good to myself actually, because I want to feel good about myself. Go ahead and bring it up. And we've got just a simple deadlift, feet about hip distance apart. Send the butt straight back, back nice and flat. Squeeze up at the top, down, and lift. Here, you want to almost scratch your shins and thighs the whole time, taking it down right to where your bike is parallel to the ground. Don't go all the way down. Pull those shoulder blades back. You're not locking the knees out, keeping what we call that soft knee. Send that butt straight back, and don't forget to squeeze the butt up at the top. Three, two, one, back to squats. We got two more rounds through each of those. So if you wanna up weight, if you wanna take it a little bit faster, feel free. Three, two, basic squat. Keep that chest lifted, squeeze the booty up at the top, down, squeeze booty, down, squeeze booty. You're sending the weight back in those heels, keeping that chest lifted. You got 10 more seconds with this exercise. Three, two, and one, lunges. Again, we're gonna alternate lunges here. Standing nice and tall, front heel stays on the ground. Three, two, send it back. If you don't wanna rest, you don't have to. You don't have to rest for that 10 seconds. If you're like, I got this. This is still kind of the warm up though. I mean, your heart rate should be up. Your legs should be feeling it. But it shouldn't be like the worst thing in the world because that's coming later. Wait till round three. That's gonna suck. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Leg day's my favorite. Three, two, one. Back to those deadlifts. So again, feet about hip distance apart, maybe shoulder width apart. Send the butt straight back, lifting up. Butt straight back, lifting straight up. It's gonna almost feel like a hamstring stretch. But the most important thing is don't let the weights come very far away from the body. They're right up against the legs the whole time. And you're way back on those heels. If you're about to fall over backwards, please don't fall over backwards. But that means you're doing it right. You'll notice my toes kind of lift up a little bit. Back flat. Three, two, one more round through each of those. So we got those squats, lunges, and deadlifts. Three, two, one. Let's squat it out. Squat like there's no tomorrow. It's me making my awkward breathing noises for you. Boo butts right back there. I don't know if you can see him, but he's just watching me. He's very confused why I'm home all the time now. I'm still working currently, but I've been home a lot more this month than usual. Three, two, and lunges. If you wanna get started, I do. Feel free, you do not have to. You have three, two, one. Again, keep that chest lifted. Front knee stays right over that ankle. Alternating feet here. Whenever we have added weight, your goal is not speed, control and form. Suck that core in, like I said, you'll hear the word core 30 times out of my mouth. Three, two, and one. We got deadlifts. Again, pull the shoulder blades back, scratch down the thighs, right back up. Scratch down the thighs, right back up. 
squeezing that butt up at the top and the muscles that you use to squeeze that butt at the top. You're trying to activate those muscles through the entire movement. Send it back, lift, back, lift. Speed, not your goal here. As always, control. Three, two, and hold on to those weights. We're going into our squat set. So we're starting off wide. You're gonna squat, calf raise, back up. Ready? And squat, calf, back, up. Squat, calf, back, up. So you're nice and wide with that squat. The knees are pointing out, that chest stays lifted. Back is flat, squat, calf, back, up. You're holding down as low as you feel comfortable holding. Hitting that little calf raise, that little calf balance. Three, two, one. Regular squat with a side leg lift. You got a couple seconds, it looks like this. Squat, side leg, squat, side leg, and go. Side leg, back on the heels. When you lift that side leg, keep the toes pointed forward. We have three different types of squats in a row. The goal is for you to basically burn out those squats, burn out those quads. Then we have a lunge set that's gonna be absolutely terrible, but great at the same time. Three, two, one, feet narrow. About shoulder width apart. I'm gonna drop one of my weights for this because we're gonna squat, knee to opposite. Squat, knee, opposite. Squat, knee, opposite elbow. Twist. You want those feet right around hip distance apart. Toes pointed forward. And again, your chest stays lifted. So you're not folding forward when you're doing this. Keeping that heart lifted. Keeping that chest up. And of course, sucking that core in. Hi, Boodle. Three, two, one. Back to wide squat. If you drop one of those weights, pick them back up. Feet nice and wide. Three, two, one. Squat with heels down. Lift heels, drop heels, lift. Squat, calf, back, lift. Squat, calf, back, lift. So you're gonna have a nice little hold in that wide squat. Hitting that inner thigh just a little bit. When we hit these squats from different angles, hitting a whole bunch of muscles all through the hip, stabilizing in all different directions. Three, two, one, and bring it up. Narrow, or sorry, <laughs> regular squat. Side leg lift. Three, two, one, squat. Side leg. I want you to really keep those toes pointed forward, squeezing that glute, keeping that chest lifted, dropping the weights at any time if you need them. You can also get a little more core work that makes this more of a front squat. Holding those weights out in front of you will increase that challenge just a little bit on that core, keeping that chest up. Three, two, one. Again, I'm going to drop one of those weights for this exercise. Narrow squat, knee to opposite elbow. Three, two, one. Back on the heels, twist. Back on the heels, twist. Suck your core in. Keep those abs tight. Squatting down as low as your body will let you. This is a little more awkward of a position. If you do yoga, chair pose. If you want to add any arms to this, instead of that twist, you can like press up overhead. Lots of options. Three, two, one. One more round. Wide, regular, narrow. Three, two, wide stance. Take it down. Down, lift heels, back up. Keep that core tight. Keep those abs engaged. I 
I know I just like talk endlessly because I'm just like working out in silence in my condo. <laughs> so you can just like mute me and do what I do. <laughs> That's what I would do if I were you. Three, two, one. Back to a regular squat with a side leg lift. Starting now if you want to, we got three, two, one. Squat it down nice and low. Kick that foot up to the side. Nice and low. Kick that foot up to the side. If you have a kitty, make sure you're not kicking the cat. Or dog, or small child. You know, we got all sorts of things running around. I had a dream boo that brought me a mouse last night. And I was like, I have a mouse in my condo. And I woke up and it was a dream. <laughs> that was essential information for you, apparently. And narrow squat. I'm just again using one weight for this one. Feet narrow, hip distance apart. Three, two, squat, knee to elbow. Squat, knee to elbow. Don't bring that knee to your elbow till you're all the way up. Chest is completely lifted during that. We just like to hit multiple planes of motion. Planes of motion are so important for overall health. Three, I lied. Three, two, one. Grab those weights, right foot in front, left foot behind. You're gonna lunge, come all the way up. Lunge, come all the way up. Lunge it back so it's just your right foot planted. Your right foot never comes off the ground. We're not all shaping sides here. Lunge, all the way up. Lunge, all the way up. Again, core tight. I know, I keep saying it, but actively squeeze that core. This round is gonna be quite a bit harder than the last round. So if at any point you need to drop your weights, feel free. Three, two, one. You're gonna hold back in this lunge position and you're gonna step forward, curtsy lunge. Step forward, curtsy lunge. So you're crossing that foot back behind you just a little bit. Again, keeping that chest straight up and down. You're gonna feel this a little more in the glutes. It's a little different of a movement. And then again for the last exercise, like we've been doing, dropping one of the dumbbells. If you don't have any weight, don't worry about it. Three, two, one. Drop one of those dumbbells. You're gonna sit in that uh, left foot back, right foot still in front. You're gonna swing that arm back and back to heart. Lunge, up, lunge, up, lunge. So again, just keeping the one leg in front, core tight, lunging all the way down and back up. We're switching sides here. And yes, we have three rounds of each on each side because that seemed like a good idea when I planned this workout. Three, two, one, and back up. Left foot in front, right foot behind. You're gonna lunge and pull that knee forward. Three, two, lunge, bring it up. Lunge, bring it up. So again, speed, not your goal. Woo! Balance and control, which I'm struggling with right now. Probably because I haven't eaten today. Lunge, lift. Try and keep your chest lifted in that lunge. You can kind of get that tendency to lunge down like this. No chest up three two one feet together we've got that curtsy lunge so you're gonna send that foot back and around three two back and around curtsy make sure you don't come too far around keep that chest lifted Fifteen more seconds, and then we've got that twisted lunge, and then two more rounds on each side because I'm mean to you and to myself. Three, two, one. Drop a weight. Right foot back. 
three, two, one. Sort of like making a row your boat movement. Back up, row, and lift. Row, and lift. Row, and lift. That balance is struggling. Keep your gaze forward, but make sure you still twist those shoulders to the side. Down and lift. If you have a wall near you or a table or whatever, feel free to use that for balance. Three, two, one. Two more rounds on each side. You're welcome. Right foot in front, left foot behind. Three, two, lunge it back, knee it up. Lunge it back, knee it up. Keep that chest straight up and down. Keep that core tight. Pull those shoulder blades back, especially if you're using extra weight. Three, two, one. Feet together, curtsy lunge. Starting here in three, two, one. Send that foot back and across and tap. Back and across and tap. Again, we're not switching legs. Right foot stays on the ground in front the whole time until we are done with this side. Chest stays lifted. This leg should be burning now. Three, two, one. I'm gonna drop one of my weights, lunge with a twist. Right foot still in front, twisting to that right side when you lunge down. Three, two, lunge and twist. Lunge and twist. Bring that back knee almost all the way to the ground. Sometimes mine drops all the way to the ground just because I need the balance check. Lift. You might hear the little song that my washer plays when it's done. I've got laundry going right now. Twist. Lift. Three, two, one. Switch sides. We've got that lunge with the knee up. Left foot in front, right foot behind. You're gonna lunge it back, lift it up. If you notice the break, <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> so, had to edit everything back together. Hopefully I did it correctly. We'll find out. <laughs> Down and lift. Down and lift. Keep that chest lifted. Keep that core tight. You got three, two, one, curtsy lunge. So you're gonna stand on that left foot, right foot comes back and around. Three, two, one, send it back, tap the ground. Send it back, tap the ground. All the way back, tap, all the way back tap. Keep that core tight. Keep that chest lifted. You have 10 seconds left. Down and lift. Boo, let's just sleep in. Three, two, one. Drop a dumbbell. Send it back. This is what I forgot the last round. Three, two, lunge and twist right here. I got to the other side and I was like, I totally never drop my weights or pick them back up. Whoopsie. <laughs> Down and up. I'm just upset I messed up in front of Boo Butt. You know, I'm perfect to him. Emphasis on the purr. Three, two, one. Pick your weights back up. One more round, each leg. Three, two, right foot in front, left foot back, left knee up. If you wanna move a little faster, if you're like, hey, I got this movement down. Always form comes first and control, but 
if you feel comfortable moving a little faster, feel free. Move a little faster. Whew. 10 more seconds. This is my fourth set of this though. <laughs> so I'm in pain. Three, two, one. Catsy. You're gonna press right foot into the ground. Left foot comes back and across. Three, two, one. Left foot back and across. Maybe you're add a little side kick. You can go like, woo, down, woo, up to you. Extra little thing if you want it. Just keep that chest straight up and down, no matter what you're doing. Don't mind me just casually itching every part of my face while I'm teaching a class. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Heel stays planted. Four, three, two, one. Drop one of those dumbbells. Right foot stays in front. Three, two, lunge position. Lunge and twist. Down, lift. Down, lift. Down, lift. Ooh. Don't mind me, just getting a little off balance. My legs are very tired. You have 10 more seconds, finishing off with that opposite leg, and then moving on to some balance work. Three, two, one. Go ahead, pick those weights up. Opposite side, left foot plants, Right foot back, three, two, lunge, and knee up. Last side. Whew. Lift. Again, chest stays up. Shoulder blades stay back. Core stays tight. Whew. 10 more seconds. So I like alternating two exercises because <laughs> way less room for error for me. <laughs> Three, two, one, catsy lunge. Whew. Left foot planted. Three, two, one. Send it back. Lift, maybe we're gonna get that little side kick. I'm gonna attempt to not kick my table. Get them far enough away. Okay. Whew. I have to like move everything out of the way when I film these. Keep it moving. 10 more seconds. We got that lunge and twist. And then we're coming right back into that right foot for new exercises. Three, two, one. Drop a dumbbell. Left foot in front, right foot back. Chest stays lifted. Three, two, one. Lunge and twist. Twist. Good. Keep that chest lifted again. I'm saying good to myself, not to you, because I don't know if you're doing well. Hopefully you are. <laughs> so motivational, right? I'm not telling you good job. I'm telling boo butt. Eating that right boodle. Four, three, two, one. Grab both weights. Right on the weight on the right foot. Single leg deadlift. Straight down, straight up. Ready? Begin. Keep that chest lifted. Keep both your hips square toward the ground. Make sure you're not stacking those hips up. Back nice and flat. Again, you're keeping those weights close to the body. Straight down the leg. Woo. Find a spot on the ground that's not going to move. Drop the weights if you're losing. Losing that balance too much. Three, two, one. Go ahead, standing on that right leg. You're gonna just rest that left arm to the left leg, sending that foot out to the side. Three, two, out and in. Out and in. Keeping that core tight. Keeping that chest straight up and down. You think it's gonna be the left leg that's burning? Should be that right leg all the way up into that glute. Whew. Ooh, man. Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Perfect. I can't make this any louder. <laughs> Three, two, 
and one staying woo, on that right foot still. I changed my mind. We're going through that one more time, same leg. Ready, set, down, and lift. I changed my mind. We're only doing two exercises here because I really like this glute activation and I don't want to lose it with that third exercise that I've chosen. So, sorry I lied to you at the beginning, but sometimes when you plan the workout and you actually get to the workout, things just change. You're on that heel. Keep that chest lifted. If you feel that calf or the arch of the foot, you're in the ball of the foot. Three, two, one. Still on that right leg. You're going to send... Sorry, my nose is so itchy. Side leg lift. Three, two, one, and go. Out and in. Hold it for that split second. Again, it's going to be more on that right leg. You should feel that hamstring and especially that glute. Try and lift the toes up off the ground. Make sure that you're back on that heel. That's where you're really going to get that glute work. Ooh, man. <laughs> Three, two, one, and left foot down. <laughs> I feel sorry for my neighbors. I'm sorry. My nose is so itchy, it's just sweat. Three, two, left foot down, single leg, deadlift. <sighs> Pull the shoulder blades back, keep that chest lifted. You're trying to get a nice parallel um, form to the ground. Back parallel. You're not rounding that back out at all here. You're pulling the shoulder blades back, lifting that heart as you come down. Three, two, one. Standing on that left leg still. We got those side leg lifts. Three, two, one. Out and in. Keep the toes pointed forward. Just leaving that uh, right foot, right hand as dead weight over that right leg. Again, that left foot back on the heel. Don't be on the ball of the foot. That calf and arch of the foot are going to start hurting if you're too far forward. Weight back. Should feel that all the way up in that glute. Three, two, one. One more round. Feel free to kind of walk it out a little bit if you need to. One more round on that left leg, and then two more rounds on each leg. Three, two, one. Take it down and lift. Down and lift. So again, this is the nice, slow, controlled movement in the deadlift. Keeping a slight bend through that knee, but you want that knee pretty straight. You don't want much of a bend, you just don't want it locked. 10 seconds. Pulling those shoulder blades back. Woo, balance is rough. Three, two, one. Bring it back up. Try and keep that weight in that left foot as much as possible. Three, two, one. Right foot out to the side. So we got the two rounds back to back of each side. Coming up again. And then we're going to hit a little more hamstring and glute work on the ground. So your heart rate, <laughs> something's happening behind me. So your heart rate should be up, but it shouldn't be up so high that we can't come straight to the ground at the end of this set. Three, two, one. Right foot plants. We're doing all of that one more time. Right foot plants, single leg deadlift. Straight down, straight upper, RDL. Pull the shoulder blades back, which I was not doing. A lot of times when you hear me like saying something with form, if you're in a class of mine, it's usually because I see someone else doing it. But currently, the only person I see doing anything is me. So if I notice I'm doing something that you should be doing, or I notice I'm doing something that you should not be doing, <laughs> I will let you know either way. Three two, one, and stay on that right foot as much as possible. Left hand, dead weight against that left leg, and out and in, out and in, out and in. Keep that chest lifted. The 
the guy who lives above me is a dog. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know what the dog's name is, but the guy's name is Patrick. <laughs> Three, two, and one. <sighs> one more round on that right leg. Are you gonna make it? I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, let me answer that question for you. And down and lift. That balance is rough. Shoulder blades back, chest lifted, core tight. Squeezing that glute on that left leg as you send that foot back. When you look at deadlifts and stuff, they seem like such a simple movement, but they're really not. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh man. All right, right foot down, dead weight on that left leg. Three, two, one, side, leg lift. So you should feel that right glute like seizing up right now. Make sure you're back on the heel. Chest stays straight up and down. Ooh, man. <laughs> and these girls stopped after class and they were like, I want a butt like yours. And I was like, keep coming back. <laughs> this is my workouts. Three, two, and one. <sighs> All right, two sets on that left leg and then we're taking it down to the ground. Three, two, one, and single leg deadlift down and lift. Whew. Pull those shoulder blades back like I was not doing right there. Keep those weights nice and close to the leg. I like to almost frame my leg with the weights. Just make sure they're not coming too far away from where I want them to be. Whew. 10 seconds. Back in the heel. Core tight. Three, two, one. Staying on that left leg, right hand, dead weight on that left leg. Three, two, one, out and in. Try and hold for that split second at the very tip of that range of motion. Toes stay facing forward. If you turn the foot out, yeah, you can get a lot higher, but then you're not hitting the glute, you're hitting that hip flexor. Keep that core tight, chest lifted, back on the heel. This looks like such a simple movement. There's a lot going on with it. So it's some balance work. Stability work through that hip. Three, two, and one. One more round back on that left leg. Ooh, three, two, one. Shoulders back, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. Keep that core tight. This is a nice break from all the jumping around I usually do in a lot of my leg workouts. Three, two, one. On that left leg still, side leg lift and down to the ground. A few weeks ago I kind of hurt my knee because it was, you know, quarantine season and three, two, side leg lift. And I was like, I'm going to pick up running again. And instead of being smart and easing back into it, I went and ran six miles three days in a row. <laughs> and then IT band syndrome happened and the very outside of my knee hurts real bad. I diagnosed myself with WebMD. It's fine. But it literally said, if you start running longer distances than usual and you only have pain on the very outside of your leg, three, two, one, take it down to the ground. Shift it back, plant heels, weight in the hips. Three, two, one, bridges up and down. So you never want the butt to fully touch the ground. You're just lifting and then touching the ground with the butt, but never letting the weight come all the way into that butt. So we're doing similar to that, except we're doing two rounds of the same exercise back to back. Press. We're gonna hold up in the middle. We've got hamstrings coming after the second round of glute bridges. Push through those heels. Three, two, hold it up. Make sure you can wiggle those toes. 
you're not lifting up so high that you're arching the back. Three, two, one, down and lift. Down and lift. Ooh, I'm close to closing my loop ring. Probably just film another video today. <laughs> I've closed my loop ring more consistently during this quarantine than I did when there wasn't a quarantine because I'm just like super invested in not letting myself slack off. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right. You're gonna put the weight between the feet like this. You're gonna flip it over, holding that weight between the feet, and you're gonna lower and lift. So you should feel like a very heavy tailed mermaid right here. Down and lift. This is for the hamstrings. You don't wanna come all the way up. You wanna come up to just 90 degrees or even not quite 90. Down and lift. So just a nice little hamstring curl. And we're gonna hold down an inch above the ground in four, three, two, one. Hold it an inch off the ground, just kind of pulse it right here. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. If you're having trouble getting into this position, just pause the video. Three, two, and one more round right here, up and down. This is a nice, gentle hamstring movement. Shouldn't be too terrible. Might make you realize that you need to vacuum. Oh, there's a lot of capper down here. Feel bad. How do you shed so much for a short hair cap? Down and lift. Down and lift. Three, two, one. Flipping it over. Two more rounds of those. Then we're stretching it out. Then we've done. Three, two, one. Lift and lower in that bridge. Adding weight if you want to. If one dumbbell's not enough, feel free to stack two. Adding more resistance. Remember, I can make the awkward breathing noises to remind you to breathe. 10 seconds. Press to the heels. Three, two, one, hold it up. One more round right here. Starting in three, two, one. Bridges. Make sure you push through those heels. Keep that core engaged a little bit and you're not lifting so high that that back is getting involved. It's not about how high you can go. It's about never letting that butt fully touch the ground. Push through the heels, push through the heels. Working out by yourself in your condo with no music is very odd. And flip it over, dumbbell between the feet, flipping it over, lifting it up, and taking it down and lift. And we're not all the way down to the ground so that dumbbell rests. You can if you can see, look back and just go to where it just barely taps the ground without taking the weight off. And you don't want to come all the way up to 90 either. You can still kind of do this without weight too, or find something that you can just pick up. Three, two, one, hold it on top of the ground and pulse it. I've seen people using like backpacks filled with books and, um, milk cartons three two one more round milk jugs i guess a gallon and a half gallon not a bad not a bad way to add a little bit of resistance i've got some ideas for some resistance workouts that i'm gonna test soon we'll see how they go 10 more seconds one more round through each this should be a nice cool down. Your heart rate should have come way, way down. Three, two, one. Flipping it over. Grabbing one or both weights. Three, two, one. Press up and down into those heels. Lifting that butt. Never letting the butt fully touch the ground.
Good. You have 10 more seconds. Ooh. Three, two, one. Hold it up. Make sure you can wiggle those toesies. Three, two, one. Down and up, last round. Press through the heels, chest is lifted, core is tight. Not using that low back, not pressing up as high as possible. Touch the butt, lift. Touch the butt, lift. Channel your inner, inner Finding Nemo. If you get that reference, if not, that's kind of awkward, but it's fine. And you really need to watch the movie. Three, two, one and weight between the foot flip it and down and lift nice easy hamstrings nothing super crazy Good, you have 10 more seconds. We're gonna hold that pulse. One more round after this. And pulse it down. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Be that happy little mermaid. You're training for the mermaid games. Three, two, one. Lift and lower. We're gonna get a couple rounds of stretching in, stretching the hamstrings, glutes, hips, and quads. Four, three, two, one. Drop that weight. Seated position, feet straight out in front of you. Reach for those toesies. Three, two, one. Reach over those toes. Got cat hair all over my arm. 30 seconds for each stretch. I want to move up to whiskers. That's cool. You lost a whisker, bud. Nice deep breathing. Three, two, one. Feet out nice and wide. Maybe bringing a dumbbell forward, using that as kind of an anchor point to bring yourself down a little further. You can bring the hand in front of the other, or in front of the, the groin and push yourself forward, and then slowly folding forward here. Seeing if one side feels a little tighter than the other. Reaching as far forward as you can. Three, two, one. Bring that right foot down. Cross that left foot over into a figure four position. And you're just gonna walk your hands as close to your butt as possible, bringing that chest toward the shin. Maybe even lifting off the ground and really pushing yourself into the tiniest little accordion movement that you can. Getting a nice stretch through that glute. Four, three, two, and one. Switching sides, left foot down, right foot crosses. Walk those hands as close as you can to the butt. Maybe even lifting the butt off the ground and coming as close as you can. Nice little accordion shape. Whew. Stretching out that hip. Apparently they're trying to drop off a package. <laughs> Ooh, that should be for me. <laughs> Sorry, person. I can't answer right now. I'm working. Hardly. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go ahead and slowly stand it up. Just a nice, simple quad stretch. Pulling that 
right foot back. Yeah, right foot back, left foot down. Knees close together, push the hips forward, chest stays lifted. I should just do something with my arm. I like my cat picture and my other cat picture. They were a gift from my father <laughs> who got them as a, a gag gift and then he knew I would legitimately like them because I'm that type of cat owner. <laughs> Three, two, one, switch sides. Pull that right foot, left foot, <laughs> my right foot, left foot back. Knees together, hips forward, chest lifted, boom. Stretch it out 30 seconds. This one looks just like Booba too, which is weird and terrifying, but also absolutely hysterical. <laughs> they just frame the window so nicely. They give you something beautiful to look at besides me during these workout videos. So you're welcome. <laughs> oh man, this poor dude's gonna do things to me. Three, two, one couple deep breaths inhale those arms lift exhale those arms down two more inhale those arms up exhale down last one big deep breath in and exhale down great job today drink some water pet a cat and have a good day